Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to learn about the bone of our arms. Now, this is the arm we have in our body and these are the bones which gives us a framework and because of them we are easily moving our hand. Now, let's learn about these bones. We know that our appendicular skeleton system which contain limbs so our limbs are connected through the axial skeleton through the pectoral girdle this is the pectoral girdle which connects our limb to the axial skeleton system in the earlier video we have already talked about the pectoral girdle but here i am showing this pectoral girdle again so that you can learn the connection between the pectoral girdle and the arm now in the pectoral girdle we have two main bones the clavicle and the scapula then where actually our hand arm or where our hand bone started starts with the head now we have three long bones in our hand that is humerus ulna and the radius these are the longer bones in our hand now these bones the humerus and radius are connected through a trochlea now in the hand we have a carpal bone in our wrist portion the metacarpal in the palm portion and the phalanges in the fingers now first of all let's num learn about the number now humerus is one ulna one radius one carpal the wrist bone are eight in number the metacarpal the palm bone are 5 in number and phalanges are 14 in number now we have learned about the name of the bone number of bone in our arm but the difficult part is to memorize the name of these bones let's try to make a story and learn these bone now this is the clavicle isn't this clavicle is looks like a looks like a cap of a clown it's a clown and cap of a clown so it's clavicle now as hand is started from this point so it is called as head now we know clown is always humerus so the part or the hand of this clown is also humerus so this bone which is directly connected to the clown is called as humerus now other two bones are the radius and anla. Now this radius and anla is actually collect, connected by the humerus through trochlea. Because of this trochlea the bone are connected to the humerus. Now this is actually working like a trolley or the pulley. Hence this part this joint is called as the trochlea. Now come to the radius and anla. Isn't this radius and adla bone is looking like a compass? Now, the role of the compass is to make a circle with a particular radius. So, to make a circle through this compass, we need a radius. So, the largest bone is called, called as radius and other smaller, other alna, other smaller anna bone is present here. Now, let's come to the hand bones now by which part we move our car we move our car by the carpal bones so these are the carpal bones which help us to move a car now other than this which part helps us is the palm bone so it is metacarp helpful but sub helpful now by which part we feel it's phalanges so the clown have a head it is very humorous so its hand is also very humorous it is connected or work as a pulley through a joint trochlea now it contains two parts it is like a compass one which help us to take the radius so its radius other one ulna the part which helpful in moving a car carpal 
other part of carpal metacarpal and through which part we feel is the phalanges now let's learn about the bones of our hand now the bones of our hand have multiple number of bones now first of all let's learn about the fingers now fingers are called as phalanges the part which starts is the meta carpal just after the carpal it's our meta carpal so after meta carpal it's our proximal proximal is the one which is connected to the middle line or directly to the internal side so proximal the internal finger part so this one is the internal part middle middle part and the distal the outer part so metacarpal the proximal the middle and the distal part you can see here now in the thumb you have only two parts the proximal and the distal part the medium one is absent in that now let's learn about the carpal part which have eight bones and it's very important to learn about them now we will imagine a board and reverse scenery over here so that we can learn it now this shape is look like a board a board and a scaphoid a bone scaphoid bone scaphoid now like every board this board also contain a captain so which is a captain this this bone is called as the captain because it is the largest bone among them so this is the captain like every captain it also contains a hook hook is the hamet hook is the hamet so a boat is scaphoid captain capitate it contains a hook hamet it also contains two instrument uh, in instruments which are in a shape of trapezium these are the instrument aren't they look like a trapezium so it's trapezium now the 3d part of trapezium is trapezoid isn't it look like a little protruding that is why this this bone which is actually trapezium shaped but little protruding so it's trapezoid now this captain is driving or moving its boat in moonlight so there should be a moon so here is the moon lunate right so there is a scenery having a boat scaphoid a captain capitate having a hook hamet having two instruments who which are helping it to move is trapezium a simple trapezium shaped bone and a 3d trapezium is trapezoid now let's learn about the other remaining bones now here is a bone called as pc form pc form a smaller pearl like form so this is the smallest bone pc form now triquetral this bone is actually covered by three other bone bone number 1 2 and 3 that is why it is called as triquetral bone now let's revise again all the bone first the trapezoid 3d shape of trapezium the trapezium the scaphoid the bone shaped the captain the capitate the hamet the hook which uh, this pc form the smallest bone the triquetral which is covered by or attached by three bones lunate the moon shaped and these are the bone of the hand the radius and the ulna so i hope you have understand and learn about these bones through this story in next video we will learn about the bones of our leg thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning